If CPA start thinking, if I just stay quiet, stay on a, the radar screen, nothing's going to happen. If we do nothing, bad things will happen. We have to watch it and we have to act. We just can't hope and pretend that nothing's going on. And I like to call this like the new math, but just in the last couple years, think about this. We stopped the, the Federal Consumer Financial Protection Act registration in the Dodd-Frank bill. That's $250 per CPA. Maryland tax prep, what we did there to exempt CPAs from that bill, uh, $100 per person. Maryland Debt Counseling, many people don't even know this, that was a bill that would have made anybody involved in uh, debt, which is every CPA sure. pretty much, would have had to pay $150 per person. And then mobility, the ability for your life, practice in multiple states, you as chairman of the state board were very instrumental in that one. Uh, that's a worth about 500 just in two, state, uh, two other state licenses. Net, net, that's $1,000 per person per year, which is kind of the benefit to every firm, right, from all this legislation. And Tom, it's not just a matter of money. It's the inconvenience, the distraction, the bureaucracy, the paperwork, and all that stuff, which, you know, it's probably equal to $1,000 right. per person. I really wanted to be in a position where I could influence my own profession in my own state. I guess from my perspective, what you have to understand is membership and activity in the MACPA is really protection of your profession. It, it's not marketing, it's not promotion. What it really is, is for al allowing you to exercise influence over conducting your business on a day-to-day -day basis. And I encourage every managing partner to become active in the MACPA because what I've always said it's your profession. So you should be able to be the person that actually dictates how your business is conducted on a day-to-day -day basis within the state of Maryland. Well, I would say get involved. I mean, first of all, get all your, uh, all your staff involved. And we're a 100% member firm. And uh, I really believe that um, you, know, you need to be active in, uh, in your profession. And, uh, and secondly, come to CPA Day. Get to know your, your own delegate and your own senators. Um, because that can not only help you, but it can also help uh, us when we need you, um, you know, at important times. So again, back to we want to be participants proactive That's right. instead of victims and reactive. That's right. And what I've seen over the years is that I think we've been a lot more effective uh, in the last several years because they seem to know that we're there every year at CPA Day, that we have uh, contacts in their district, and that if something comes up, and we need to call on our members to contact legislators in their home district. We can do that, and that's uh, pretty powerful. Yeah. My, my vision has been and continues to be the profession uh, get far more active and uh, in the middle of the political process, but not only on issues directly impacting the profession, but on issues impacting the business community. You all know from your clients who better to be able to make that case than, than this profession based on feedback you're getting from your clients and what you're doing for your clients. I think that is really important. I think it's an opportunity for you all to flex your muscles. I have to my office and, and tell my partners what we discussed today. They're going to they're gonna want to know what can we do. I want, I want to close with what the managing partners uh, kind of agreed to that we're going to work on. Um, membership support. If everybody in your firm is a member of, of a MACPA, we can use our grassroots database to contact laser focus legislators on key committees to stop bad things and pass good things. Uh, number two, swearing in ceremony. We ask the major firms to sponsor a big reception with the Department of Labor and Licensing Regulation and the State Board of Accountancy, and you've presided over that. Meeting. Very nice event for the CPAs, for their families, for the board, for the MACPA. It's a great event. And for our relationship with the DLL, Absolutely. which is probably the most important. CPA Day in Annapolis, January 18th of 2012. Encourage your folks to attend. And then finally, support of the PAC. We are asking uh, partners to write checks or write checks from firms to help our political action committee uh, so that we can be successful building new relationships and being proactive on your behalf. If MACPA didn't provide CPE for its members, somebody else would. If MACPA didn't provide a venue for networking and meeting other people, somebody else would. But if MACPA doesn't represent us before the legislature on these critical issues, who will? And I'm afraid I don't know who that would be. 
So that's, that is the most important reason to support MACPA.